A lot of these shapes are quite hard edged in nature. I have a shape here that is uh, that, that merges into the surrounding value in a very, very subtle, very soft, almost a wet and wet way. So I think what I can do now is introduce a, an edge very unlike any of the edges that we have by going even more hard edged. And I think uh, I'll try a little, a little masking at this point. Again, for, for the sake of variety and for the sake of unpredictability. So I, I'm going to want to link this shape into this shape here. I'm going to do that with a linear shape. So as I, as I place that shape, I am looking, using the edge of the tape, to make sure that that doesn't align itself with another strong directional edge. And it does not, so I am uh, fairly comfortable with the placement. Now I'm creating a triangular shape. I want to close off the top of that triangle. And as I make a determination where that closure is going to occur, uh, I am very aware of this edge here. And I do not want to close off the top of that triangle just picking up that line. So I have two choices. I can either move above or I can move below. Well, actually, now that I say that, I see uh, perhaps this curve line would be good to play off of. So I'll continue that shape, this triangular shape, which may be a little hard to see because of the value of the tape. So I've now defined a triangular shape by, by masking the edges. I have wonderful luck with masking tape if I'm taping directly onto the paper. Taping over another layer of paint can sometimes be problematical because no matter how tight you seal that tape along the edge, there is a layer of paint between the paper and the taped edge. And the pigment will sometimes follow that paint. And it will tend to bleed a little bit at the edge. So whenever I tape and paint the shape, I try to allow the paint to be fairly thick, fairly dry, not quite so liquid. So it reduces the tendency to, to want to bleed. Because it's the edge quality of the shape that I have determined is important. And if, if I want to an edge unlike any other edge, it's going to have to be a very sharp, very clearly defined edge. And if it starts to bleed and starts to get a little soft, uh, it will defeat my purpose. Also, if you start your brush stroke on the tape and pull into the shape, then you won't be physically pushing paint uh, ahead of the brush. And the tendency to, to go under the taped edge uh, is less. All right, let's take the tape off and cross our fingers. You know, I, I, I mentioned earlier my rationale for using Arches paper. This is one of them right now. Arches stands up beautifully to masking. I've formed a, a visual pathway between this shape and this shape. I've also introduced a little variety, a little unpredictability in terms of the quality of the edge that I'm using.